Say, folks, not only do we need a day off, but apparently the dogs needed some attention, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jacko here, our uh, all 80 pound Doberman Great Dane Schnauzer mix, is uh, having a hard time living in 22 by 8. Um, you know, he's used to being free range at home and having a dog door to come and go as he pleases, so. He might be having the hardest time adapting of all of us. Yeah, it's taken him a little time to adjust, but we'll, uh, we'll get it figured out. We make sure that we at least spend, you know, 30 minutes to an hour getting them out every day. Um, when we were in Winter Park, we got them out for a couple hikes, and uh, now we're in Salt Lake. Yeah, we're, we're staying in Southern Salt Lake City Mountain Shadow RV Resort, and fortunately there is a community park just out of the back entrance that has an excellent dog park, a really nice skate park, um, some ball fields and that sort of thing, and it's walking distance, and the dogs really like it, uh, so that's been the saving grace. It has. It's full. It's been. It's awesome. It's full of dogs. Yeah, I'm not going to say Salt Lake City is not dog friendly, but it's not as like the all the canyons and stuff like that to go hiking are not dog friendly not is, dog friendly not horse friendly and not off-road friendly i don't know i think it was it's pretty a, much you have to be on your feet and that's it yeah it's a little difficult to get your dogs out around here sadly um there's one thing i give colorado credit for it's a, there's you know, there's a lot of people there too it's much easier to take your dogs and get out with your dogs regularly um, most trails and stuff like that, it's it's a non-issue. Yeah. Uh, here it's a little different, so luckily we have the dog park. Um, we're gonna hit that today. Otherwise, we're taking the day off. I tweaked my ankle last run of the day, of course, yesterday at Solitude. After riding mostly uh, advanced to extreme terrain, which was holding a lot of fresh snow, I managed to tweak my Achilles on a icy little bump of a mogul on the last run back to the parking lot of the day. So, uh, it was just a good sign to recover, rest, and get ready to head to Tahoe tomorrow. Yeah, so hopefully your ankle will hold up. Yeah. It'll be good. And so. uh, we'll get some errands done and uh, some chores done in the meantime, and yeah, we'll, see you when we, we'll see you when we get on the road. Yeah. All right, guys, so here we are in our camper, tuning our boards. Got the saw horses, got the drop cloth, Got the mini shot back. What we don't have is space. <laughs> Unfortunately, I missed the shop at home in the basement where we have plenty of space to do this regularly, but we're making do. Yeah, the uh, your boards need tuned and waxed pretty regularly. We've ridden ours for about five or six days now, which is pretty much the limit on them. So Ryan looked up the weather of what it's going to be in Tahoe the next few days, so we'll use the appropriate wax for the temperatures. Other than that, as always, we got the doggos here, keeping watch, making sure we're not missing anything. So yeah, showing our board some love, and then we're going to get after it.